Hello everyone, it's me Shopper. Welcome to another Dungeon Hunter 6 video. Today's video is gonna be the best guide you will be finding around how to be improving into your gears to be getting the best out of it with the most easiest way. But if it's your first time to my channel, don't forget to be liking the video as well as subscribe to the channel and write to me in the comment section what you want me to be covering in the future for you. I'll be making sure to be adding it on a list to be covering in as soon as possible. So, uh, the first thing you need to know is where we get the gears from. That's, let's say it's possible to be actually getting the gears from every place. But it's mainly from th three sources. If we go to the game assist, you can find over here receive equipment. We have evil invasion, the frozen throne and the legendary hunting. As well as along with this one we have the trading and that one over here you'll be able to find all the other gears as well that have got posted by other players too but for the trading it's not really a main source since you can find this uh, the trade is empty for a long time especially if you are in the early stage of the server uh, that's for the part with where to be getting the gears. Now for the next step is the forging. We go to the forge here. The first thing we can be focusing on we have which is the enhance. Over here for you you will be thinking like mm, it's better to be just making it higher as much as possible and then can be working on that to be maxing it all later on. I would say you're doing it in a completely wrong way. The best way to do it with the lowest cost, at least to be able to get the best performance and the best improvement out of it is by maxing it as soon as possible. The first thing I would say you can make it all up to plus nine. After that, get every one of them and start to be maxing it out then you will be able to get really a good boost from them. At the same time, you will be able to help out to be pushing in the total enhancement. Over here, we get really some good stats. It's not really that big, but in the long term, it's going to be really making a big change to you. At the same time, you can be seeing as well the total enhancement rating. And that one here, it helps out to be as well given more stats. So that's for the first thing to do, to be maxing it out. For me, I am already working on it, so just to keep going. Like it's giving you PR as well as some stats that's really gonna be good to help you out. The second part we have, which is the reforge. From here, if you have the item with two star, I would say just make like few reforge to be getting a better stats in it. But don't spend a lot of it, especially because the two star will be consumed as re uh, crafting for other gear to be making it to three star. And all the material you have used for the two star, you won't be getting it back. But if we focus on working on the three star, as an example, we have the three star from the tier four. When I move to tier five, then the tier 4, it's possible to be dismantling it and then I will be able to get back the material I have used for this one to be reusing it for other gears too. There is other part when crafting, you'll be able to make higher quality than the red but it requires some other material, material that you get only from the bait event. And my guide is more focusing on completely free to play players. So that's for the part with the reforge. Only do it on the three star to be getting really best stats as much as possible. You can also check from here, the, this mark over here, you will be able to see what type of attribute you're able to get on this specific item. You will be able to see as well here all the percentage that is possible. When you get the max, you will be able to see the color have become pink. 
over here I have the resistance to 45 if we check here we have the resistance the max is 45 so the blue is kind of extremely low. it's low not gray at least and after the blue it's uh, uh, legendary and then it's the red and then it's a pink and the same time you're able to see exactly the quality of this item uh, from the reforge from this uh, orange bar over here like for me it's on the half it's still a chance to be able to proceed more there is also you are able to lock the stat you want to keep for me if i want to keep the resistance since it's max i can just press on it and then it will be consuming this solidification crystal and that one you're able to get it by sacrificing red gear two star and higher of course uh, for us as a free to play you're able to only lock two stats if you want to lock more then it will be required to be having the monthly path and that one to be able to have more lockable items so it's like that and that's completely all around the gears that you will be able to find we have the gems and that one there is nothing i can be i can explain around it since this one it's mainly from this gem treasure over here you can also as well find some gems from the treasure uh, bazaar but it's not really that often you're able to find it so guys that's all around the best guide for the gears and everything around it i hope it will be helping you out to be proceeding and get more power in the game and proceed more so i'll see you all in the next video till then enjoy the game and happy gaming